What's up guys, in this video we're going to be unboxing and doing an on the fee of the new Jordan 1 High Zoom Comfort in the black light smoke grey colorway. These sneakers were released November 8th for a retail price of $150. Having said that, let's get right into it. Alright guys, these sneakers do come in this brown and black Nike box. It does look pretty clean. It's a little bit different than your typical Jordan 1 highs, but this is typical for the Zoom Comforts. But let's go and check out the size sticker. Here you'll see the official name as the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Air Comfort in the black slash white light smoke gray colorway and we are size 10 and a half USA. But let's go ahead and open these right up. We'll go ahead and take off the top lid. The first thing you'll see is this brown paper here. Cover in Air Jordan logos and then on the back of it it just lets you know exactly how the Air Jordan zoom comforts are made so it does give you a breakdown which is pretty cool other than that you will see both sneakers covered in this wrap and on the wraps they do have the letter Z on them for zoom but let's go ahead and take one of these out of the wrapping paper and BAM here they are guys the Jordan 1 high zoom comfort in the black light smoke gray colorway very clean looking sneaker that's for sure but let's go ahead and check out all the details this sneaker does have to offer starting with the midsole all right guys i want to jump in here real quick to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already i'm gonna be making more dope sneaker reviews so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are into these type of videos these come with an all white jordan one midsole and you can go ahead and see that outsole creeping in as well and here's that dual colored outsole that we typically see on the zoom comforts we have the black in the middle and the light gray surrounding the edges definitely unique to say the least but let's go ahead and check out the uppers which is made up of two colors we have black on all of the overlays and gray on the underlays but we'll go ahead and take a closer look starting here at the front of the sneaker surrounding the toe box we have some really nice black suede material and it does feel really nice when touching it we have that same color and material here at the quarter panel up to the shoelace holes ankle strap and down to the heel of the sneaker when it comes to the swoosh you will notice that it is cut out however we do have some black leather underneath which does look very good in my opinion surrounding the swoosh we do have that light smoke gray color in leather and the leather quality is very nice you can go ahead and see the crinkles as i touch the leather we have some more of that gray color here at the ankle strap on the air jordan wings logo it does look very very nice just above that on the ankle area we have some more of that light gray color but this time in a fabric material definitely a lot of materials were used in the making of this sneaker and I will say that all the materials do seem to be high quality a unique detail that the comfort zooms come with is that it does have this little flap here at the top of the shoelace holes and if you do pull it back you will see the zoom labeling underneath moving on to the back of the sneaker we have your same white midsole with the black and gray uppers we do have some more of that black suede coming up a little bit more to connect the two swooshes together moving on to the inside of the sneaker it's nearly identical to the outside with the exception of no Air Jordan wings labeling here at the inside ankle strap and no zoom labeling underneath the flap on the shoe lace holes so we'll go ahead and jump right into the toe box we have a really nice light smoke gray toe box in a very good quality leather material these do come with black laces pre-installed and it is the only laces these sneakers come with at the very back of the toe box in between the first shoelace holes you'll see some additional holes like you see at the toe box which reads 1985 you can also see some exposed stitching connecting the toe box and the tongue together we do have a nylon tongue with the bottom portion being black and the top being in a trippy design and to be honest i'm not really too sure if i like this design i think maybe an all black design would have looked better anyways at the top of the tongue we do have a black patch with a zoom air in gray you'll also notice a ton of exposed foam throughout the entire Entire tongue and we have some more of that exposed foam on the entire ankle area the sock liner is all black and you will notice some extra cushioning on it as well the insole is in that trippy design we seen earlier on the top portion of the tongue we do have the zoom air in white as well as a size sticker these sneakers were manufactured from April 27th through June 30th the inside of the tongue is all black with some extra cushioning as well but other than that that basically sums up all the details that this sneaker does have to offer now we're gonna go ahead and put both shoes side by 
by side to give you guys different angles and lighting so you guys know exactly what you're getting if you do decide to go ahead and purchase these sneakers. All right, guys, here they are. The Jordan 1 High Zoom Comfort in the black light smoke gray colorway. All this footage is completely unedited, so what you see is what you'll get. The colorway is super dope on these sneakers and so are the materials. Nike definitely did a great job when making these shoes, but let's go ahead and put them on feet and see what they really look like when wearing them. Alright guys, my final thoughts are that these are a fire pair of sneakers. I'll definitely be keeping these. The colorway is dope as hell. I can see myself wearing this sneaker a ton. And the overall quality of the sneaker is great. And those are the reasons why I'd highly recommend them for anyone looking for a solid pair of Jordan 1 highs. But having said that, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.